everyone, especially to our dear instructress, Mrs. Carla Joy Palaris. I am Christine Elbernal, BS Ed 2. My topic is all about grammatical errors in fossilization. So, I'll start in discussion. In 1972, Selinker says that fossilable linguistic phenomena are the linguistic items, rules, and subsystems which the speakers of a particular native language will tend to keep in their interlanguage, in relative to a particular target language. No matter what the age of the learner or the amount of the explanation and instruction that receives in target language. In addition to the term fossilization, in 1992, Selinker and Lakshmanan introduced the term stabilization. They state that stabilization is the first sign of presumed fossilization. The difference between fossilization and stabilization is defined in terms of permanence. Errors become fossilized when they have become permanently established in the interlanguage of a second language learner in a form that is deviant from the target language, norms, and that continues to appear in performance regardless of further exposure to the target language. So, what is fossilization? The term fossilization is derived literally from the word fossil, which refers to a kind of stone that turned from a buried piece of soft wood because of the steady drip of calcium containing water. Fossilization is meant in language acquisition, the rigidity of mind and habit induced by the steady drip of wrong and harmful methods in learners. What is fossilized errors? Mistakes that students know is wrong but they keep making. Errors from force of habit which students no longer notice they are making. Something that students learn wrong and now they need to change. Errors that students may correct when they focused but still make on their own. Mistakes that recur despite in the constant correction. Errors that based in native language interference or target language over generational that is made by many speakers. Mistakes that teachers may not any longer hear after a number of years teaching in a particular context. Mistakes that has been repeated so that it sounds right to the learner. How to deal with fossilized errors. In 2010, Yan Ping Zheng offers the following ways to deal with stabilized and fossilized errors. Holding analysis of typical errors in order to pay a special attention to this phenomena in the process of teaching. Diagnosing true testing. Fostering a positive learning attitude in language learner. Cultivating language learners in learning strategies and developing language competence and pragmatic strategies among language learners. Teachers should guide students to focus on language accuracy, requiring students to express the meaning in the form of monitoring and encourage them to correct or aim once they are aware of errors. Carefully designed feedback can prevent the formation of fossilization effectively. And that's all of my report. Thank you.